Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video and today we're going to be checking out another one of your guys' systems but before we get into that guys just a massive thank you as always for um, the support on all the videos recently as it's, it's been amazing just with um, how well um, the likes and stuff have been going just a huge thanks to you guys and yeah let's keep that up let's keep hitting that 30 like goal every video so absolutely amazing just really helps the channel out a lot and yeah I cannot thank you um, enough for all of that and also um, um, yeah thanks for um keeping it up the support up for three years now three years strong of that so yeah just absolutely amazing stuff um right there but yeah today we are going to be on episode 110 now of this i mean that is absolutely nuts but yeah we have got one system today from the user venetian guy um in my discord server so massive thank you for them f um for sending this um solar system in so this is called the dark soul system so let's go ahead and uh, search this up and see what they have prepared for us today so uh, here we go right here we go so dark soul okay so let's see what we have got here. Looks like very colourful so far. We've got this weird error message again. It's, uh, this must be something to do with the latest update. I have no other reason why it's doing that. Okay. From a star that was once the brightest and happiest place you did ever see, some dark force arrived in the system and made the only star into the sad, dark husky it is today. Made by Venetian guy. Okay. Awesome. So I'm guessing we have some sort of black dwarf in the centre here. Okay. So there it is. So a very blacked out star as we can see here. So here we go. So it still has temperature, but it's completely blacked out that's quite that's quite weird how's it how have you managed to get it like that when it still has temperature that's something i've never seen something like that before is it is it colored ah okay so a black star okay interesting all right so there it is so it's got the custom color all right awesome so there it is all right so it's pretty much the sun just completely tinted out right so there we go okay let's put labels on so we can spot where the planets are okay so there's the start okay first of the planets okay here we go so it's 211 degrees here very hot but since the star doesn't admit since it's black we can't actually see um, the light coming out from it so what if we uh put it back on just just for the purposes of exploring if we put it on default okay there we go so can we see okay there. so yeah realistic okay now we can see so here it is at the first planet and that is a beautiful looking blue i'm loving that wow that is a lovely mix of blue colors there that is amazing. I really like that. Wow, look at look at it. Just all the blending. That's a beauty right there. Really, really like that there. So that's the first planet there. And then it also has one moon as well with some wacky blue and orange going um, on here. But that's a cool view of that main planet. That is that is really cool. I really like that. Um, so yeah, there we go there. But yeah, that, that looks great. But yeah, there we go. So that is the first planet of Nilu um, right there with a nice blue trail as well. Right, so now we are on the second planet. So, um, all tanks, I think that's how you say this one. So here we go here. So a very orange world, as we can see here, with a bit of blue patches on, on it too, right there. Sort of reminds me of Venus without of its clouds. And then moving on to the moons. This is a very wacky uh, mix of colours. Very nice colour combo as well here. So we've got some different shades of blue. We've got like an aqua colour there as well. Looking very nice indeed. And the next uh, moon out as well, also going with an orange and blue colour theme right there. So there are those guys. Alright, so heading out. So next up we got um Molib over here. And this one looks pretty um intense of the orange it's got on it. So another orange and blue object. So it seems like he likes that colour combo um quite a lot here. But yeah, there we go. So looking good. Right, and then the first of the moons. So here we go. Or the only moon. So this one is completely covered in water, as we can see here with different patches. It looks quite tropical actually with like the yellow sort of surface it's got going on the high elevation there. But yeah, there we go there. It's weird how the water does this now in the new updates. It is very weird. Um, but yeah, there we go. So there's that one right now moving on to the next object which is this one out here another orange and blue colored themed object here also with a moon very very close to it as well so here we go here so this is a pretty small moon actually as you can see it's one of the micro objects so yeah very very small right there but yeah there we go so there is it and its planet rightio right now moving on to the next one okay so this one is a gas giant out here so a red and blue color themed gas giant oh no some more colors in the um, in there as well so we've got blue red yellow and then more sort of red um in the bottom of it as well there so there we go there are its colors pretty cool how we can see the gas giant colors now we never used to be able to do that but yeah this update pretty awesome stuff of that um so yeah, there we go and then moving on to the moons another orange and blue color theme one there's definitely a trend with some of these um objects of his by the looks of it and there we go we've got the next moon out here quite a small little one and then the last moon over here a nice oh another one of this another one of these the ultra blue uh, with a mix of all the different shades in there. What an absolute beauty that is. So, yeah, there we go there. So, there are all of those guys. Right, now, moving on to the one with the pink trail. So, we've got this one over here. So, another gash giant, as we can see there. So, yeah, we go. Oh, very um, exotic colours on it from the um, 
way it appears here. So we've got a nice blue in the north there, a bit of orange as well, which we can't really see. Purple, red, a lighter blue, and then a um, golden sort of yellow um, in the bottom there. Very nice mix of um, colours there. Um, then we have this moon out here going with a very exotic, sort of like the ones we've seen previously, but with more of a purple added to it, as we can see there. But yeah, that's pretty exotic looking as well right there. So yeah, there we go there. So we've got that one. And then moving out to the next moon out here, going with a greenish look to it, which is actually just a light blue mix of a yellow, but makes it look a little more green than it actually is. So yeah, there we go there. So looking good, actually. I'm liking that. So now zooming out, we are heading to the um, second to last planet here. So this is um, Kerna out here. Also with a similar colour scheme to the previous gas chart we saw with the um, the hot colours. Then we've got the blue here. Um, so yeah, there we go there. And then we've got some more moons as well. So this one's going very orange. So it seems like the colour orange is probably is his favourite, I'm assuming, just with the amount of um, orange yellowy objects we've got in here. So there we go there. This one's quite an interesting mix of colours, with the blue and the yellow there. So yeah, there we go there. But yeah, a lot of these either have blue or orange. So they definitely must be some of his um, preferred colours to use. Um, and then to the last object of the day over here, we've got a blue and yellow um, one on appearance there. So there we go. Looking good with a green interface colour. So there we go. And then the moons. So here we go here. This one's got some water patches on it, as we can see. So yeah, there we go there. Uh, next moon out, we've got this one with a nice yellow atmosphere on it as well. Look at that. Oh, that's quite a nice one there. Looking good. One of the Definitely one of the higher uh, moons I've seen, um, in my opinion there. And then next one, we've got um, this one. So quite similar, just with the, out the atmosphere. And then lastly, we've got this mi little micro object on the very edge of the system. So there we go. That is... I believe that, yeah, I believe that is everything now. We'll check if there's anything further out, but that looks to be everything. Okay, so let's get a lineup um, of this system. So pretty short but sweet one, actually. So, yeah, there we go. Right, so here are our gas giants. So now we can compare them. So we can see they're all sort of in, sort of similar colours. I mean, you can see red, blue, yellow. They're sort of the colours, um, quite uh, or quite a trend with some of these. There's a, pretty much you know, every single gas giant has red, blue, and yellow by the looks of it, apart from this one, which doesn't have red. But all the other ones have red, blue, and yellow um, on them there. So you can see, sort of tree, see a trend with the gas giants. They're all related um, with the way they appear. And then moving on to the Rockies, most of these were oranges and yellows as well. Um, as you can see here, if we go all the way down, a lot of the, a lot of the bigger objects were oranges and yellows. We can see, we'll see there's some varying between a few different ones as well. But yeah, you can see there's definitely a lot of orange and yellows. That definitely is the main theme um, in this um, system by the looks of it. Um, so yeah, there we go there. But f for out of all of the planets... This one, the first one we saw, 100% my favourite. I just love the way that looks. The, the surface texture it's got, the mixture of the blues, the way they blend together. That's an absolute beauty, I think. Really, really like that indeed. Um, out of the gas giants, ooh, quite a hard choice since they are quite similar, actually. I'm not sure, honestly, with the gas giants. I definitely don't think I'd pick this one. I think the blue looks a little out of place with the red there, um, personally. But I, I do like this one, the um, yellow, the blue, and the orange. That's quite a nice um, looking one. I think I'd probably pick that. I think the colours go um, well there. So yeah, I think I'd go with um, that one for, my ga for the gas giants. And then obviously the Rockies, 100% this one. I mean, out of all the planets, this one's definitely the top one for me as well. But yeah, you guys, let me know what you think down below in the comments um, about which objects look the best. But yeah, that, that for me is definitely the coolest looking one. I mean, I'm going to go back to it now. Absolute beauty if you just look at it here. Look at it. It just looks so great. If, if, if you're asking me, obviously it's my opinion, of course. You guys, let me know what you think. But that looks great. I really, really like the way that looks there. So, um, yeah, there we go. But that does it for um, today's episode, guys. So, again, a massive thank you to um, Venus and Guy for sending um, this um, solar system in. Also, if you want to send your own systems in, make sure to either join my Discord server, link in the description, or you can just um, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know of your simulation, um, and then I can go ahead and find it on the Steam Workshop. So, yeah, it's only two, two simple solutions. Either join my Discord server, or um, give me the name of it on the workshop with your username, and I can go ahead and find it um, that way. So, yeah, simple as that. But yeah, without um, with that all out of the way, guys, a massive thank you for watching today's video as well. Let's, like I said, if we see if we can go for 30 likes on this video, guys. And also subscribe if new helps on the journey to 12,000 subscribers. As I believe we're within 300 subscribers from it now. So yeah, see if we can push for that for the end of the month. That would be absolutely amazing. But yeah, with that all out of the way, guys, make sure you all have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.